Welcome back to Living 808. In today's Living Akamai segment, the focus is on affordable housing, a controversial topic in the news the last couple of years. Here's Kay Mukaigawa of Angle and Volkers with her friend. We are so happy to have Micah Kane, CEO and president of the Hawaii Community Foundation here today. The Hawaii Community Foundation has a vision which sets a course to create a vibrant Hawaii where all of the island communities thrive. But we all know that there are some issues facing our community today. So, Micah, what are some of the top issues that you guys are tackling? Well, there are a few large issues that Hawaii needs to address in order for local families to thrive. But definitely nothing tops housing. Uh, the housing crisis is uh, easy first and is driving local families to leave Hawaii. Unfortunately, there's a belief that this issue is not solvable. It's too complex. But the problem is solvable, and we have the, we've made the process complex. It doesn't have to be. We have to focus on the fundamentals of a broken system. You know, over the last 40 years, government has slowly passed on the responsibility of building major off-site infrastructure, roads, water, sewer, public facilities, uh, onto the private sector. Tens of millions of dollars uh, are now carried by home builders through an extremely challenging entitlement and regulatory process. This all gets passed on to the home buyer instead of being paid for by tax dollars. And I think in the 60s and 70s, there were some really good examples of where government dictated where growth would occur by investing in major infrastructure. Kailua, Kaneoi, Hawaii Kai, Pacific Palisades are easy, great examples. The nice thing about that is that by default, it dictates where growth will not occur. Um, and it encourages developers to be where the path is least resistant. And so we, we encourage that. So what is HCF doing about all of this? Lots of stuff going on, right? Well, in Maui County, where the cost burden of housing is the highest to its residents, more than 56% of Maui residents are cost burdened, which means that these individuals are paying more than 30% of their total income to put a roof over their heads. The math just doesn't add up after that. We have a pilot project called House Maui, which is modeling how there can be better collaboration amongst public and private sectors on how growth is going to happen. And government basically needs to take back responsibility of building major offsite infrastructure. This directly reduces the cost to home buyers, dictates where growth will occur, and by default, again, determines where we hope to protect. Wow. You know, I love the collaboration. What kind of successes have you been seeing so far? Well, we're just two years in, and we're seeing good promise. Uh, we've identified almost 10,000 units that we believe can come to market over the next seven to nine years. We have solid legislative champions in Finance Chair Kyle Yamashita and House Chair Troy Hashimoto, which coincidentally are both from, from Maui. Our goals are really to work with the legislature to secure an additional $50 million per year on Maui for major offsite infrastructure improvements aligned with affordable housing. And we've been successful these first two years. Um, one of the shining stars and advocates has been DOT Director, Department of Transportation Director, Ed Sniffin. He really gets it, has been wind behind our backs. Uh, new Maui Mayor, Rick Bisson, uh, has bought into the strategy. strategy. So perhaps um, the stars are lining up. We really think that it's a good model for the state. Uh, there's so much more happening around this housing issue on Maui. Uh, I'd really like to encourage your listeners and viewers to visit our website at www.housemaui.org. Wow, awesome stuff. Thank you so much, Micah Kane, for joining us today. If you have any questions or would like to talk to Micah, give us a call and we'll put you in touch. Our number is 808-725-2000. We look forward to seeing you next week, Tuesday. And thanks for letting Engel and Volkers Honolulu Simplify your life. Okay, and Micah, thank you so much mm -hmm. for uh, all the information. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, it's been in the news a lot lately mm -hmm. uh, with affordable housing and stuff. So um, if we can get that shored up and taken care of, it might, it might take a lot of stress off of a lot of people's minds. Yeah, and if the, you want them to help take a lot of stress off your mind, make sure you check out all of their seminars.